You are listening to the Feedback Podcast. Well, my homie back. Well, being from Port Arthur, uh, you know, you're, you're right there, as you said, like mm-hmm. on the Gulf Coast in between uh, Lafayette and, or, you know, you're as close to Lafayette and New Orleans as you are Houston and some of these right, other right, places, right? right? Yeah. I'm bad at geography, but something like that. <laughs> um, so uh, the music from Louisiana is just as much the blues from that perspective as is what we think of as Texas blues, electric mm-hmm. blues, Chicago, Houston uh, blues. So that is uh, when people think of intones, they think of the blues, but sometimes they forget to think about Zydeco mm-hmm. and brass bands and you know we do a lot of those shows here right. obviously but well, that's because that all came from clifford he he was quoted as saying the inspira- his inspiration for starting the club mm-hmm. was going to new orleans for the first time as a young person and just being just blown away by just the energy and wanting to create a spot you know uh i guess you know when he when he ended up in austin i wanted to create a spot that could how is that and be a home for that um when clifford started the the first club in 75 july 15th the original opening date he didn't have a blues band mm-hmm. play it he had uh clifton chenier zydeco king of new orleans play it um so again people forget or a lot of times don't know about that connection to louisiana and new orleans and everything we had cj chenier mm-hmm. uh clifton's son uh, play our opening as a homage to that 